Hey guys, voiceover Bailey back again, and uh, oh yeah, and slow-mo lip swatch Bailey too. Diva. Anywho, today we're trying on Revlon's luscious matte lipsticks. Eight shades to be exact. While these try-on shots are rolling and Bailey is being extra, I'm also gonna share my thoughts on the formula, or at least the shades that I have. Which, by the way, thank you to Revlon for sending my way. These are all press samples. So as you can see by now, these are a relatively matte formula, but not completely. They actually fall under the super lustrous line from Revlon, so they do have a tiny bit of sheen, and it's more obvious in some shades than in others. I think that slight sheen, or at least the moisturizing ingredients that create the sheen, are what's responsible for keeping this such a comfortable formula. You can see it doesn't drag on the lips at all during application, and my lips aren't in the best shape right now. They're a little dry, maybe a little sunburned, but for the most part, they still lay evenly and without emphasizing any patchiness. There is an exception that you'll see with the shade Black Cherry later on though. It kind of clung to some dry skin that's more evident up close, but when you zoom out, I really don't think you can tell all that much. Either way, it's really the only shade that I experienced that with. Even though they're really pigmented, these feel almost like a lightweight mousse when worn, and it keeps them super comfortable long term. When it comes to scent, there really isn't one, which was kind of surprising. I feel like a lot of times drugstore lip products or drugstore products in general can come with a strong and sometimes funky scent or taste, and this really has neither, which is great for those who might be sensitive to both. As we get into the deeper and more colorful shades, I think it's worth mentioning that these definitely stain the lips, and some of you guys have expressed that that is not your favorite thing when it comes to lipsticks, but honestly, I kind of don't mind it. It feels like they linger a little bit longer because even once the top finish has gone away, your lips are still left with this really pretty, bold stain, but no matter your opinion, I just think it's important to know. So there's that. The only other thing I can think to mention about these is that they are actually 8 out of 24 shades in the entire collection, so there is a pretty broad shade range here to choose from, and you can see they are not boring shades in the least. I mean, look at that blue. Yowza. That said, if blues and grays aren't your thing, clearly there are some really pretty nudes, berries, reds of all different tones and undertones in this collection, so if you're interested in them, I highly recommend you check them out. They're very comfortable, very lightweight, and relatively long-lasting. And with that, we are officially out of music. Yeah, that's right, the video's over. Go check out those other Lips Watch videos if you dug this, and if not, go check out some other videos. There's a ton on this channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. OMG, you seriously stuck around all the way to the end. Thank you so much.